Hey guys, just a really quick video on a uh, product I want to share with you. So this is called Permatex Aviation Form Gasket Number 3. It's part number 80019. And it was a product that was told to me by my friend Trains. And uh, in fact, he should just make a YouTube channel. It would be a really great uh, YouTube channel. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to pass on some of the information he shared with me that I found really helpful. And hopefully you guys will find it helpful too. It's a liquid gasket kind of dressing compound, uh, kind of like warm honey, I guess is the consistency. And you, you apply it to a gasket, both sides, one side just depends on the application. And it improves the sealing qualities of the gasket. It helps to seal up minor imperfections in the parent material. And it also allows you to take parts back apart again without ripping the gasket. So if you've got old OEM gaskets that are still okay, and that aren't, you know, aren't, aren't super brittle, for example, but you just want to reuse it, um, that's where this comes in. Apply it, uh, let it flash off, I think it's a couple of minutes, and you're good to go. You can reuse it, no problems whatsoever. Uh, I'm fairly sure he said he's used this in uh, other applications like water pump fittings. Don't quote me on it. In fact, uh, trains, if you're watching this, just you, you're the one that knows all about this stuff and what you've used it for. Just comment in the comment section below some of the uses that you've had. Um, so I've used it on basically all gaskets in OP equipment. I had uh, um, case halves that I bought together and the cylinder base met them and I actually had a leak by that kind of T join here. Uh, applied this, I'd used that, I've probably put about 10, oh, probably more than that, oh, 10 to 15 tanks of fuel through that. And it was only the day I did a pressure and vacuum test because I wanted to check something else and it had passed. And then I took it apart again, wanted to check something inside the cylinder Everything came apart beautifully. The gasket doesn't rip, but things can come apart really nicely. A bit more of this goes back onto the gasket, back together, and you're done. Uh, redid the pressure vacuum test. It held just fine. Um, so I really like it. And he also gave me some advice on this one. Uh, we used it on an intake manifold, and a bit of the bead had broken. And we used this, and it was perfect. Um, so there's so many uses for it other than just gaskets. The other really nice thing is I often see people use gasket makers, which are used to replace a gasket. So something like Moto Seal or Durco HT, and they'll smother that over a gasket. It's not really what they're designed to be used for. They're generally designed to be used in place of a gasket. But you can do in certain circumstances. Moto Seal is fairly thin, but uh, then you've got the challenge of trying to get everything back together before it starts to cure. And flash off time with well, Moto Seal, especially in Australia, three bond Moto Seal, those rubber based. Um, gasket makers that have, I don't know what uh, what carrier they've got. Let me have a smell. I'm not sure what they actually use. Some sort of petroleum based carrier. It evaporates very quickly. Uh, and before you know it, it's going to have started to cure and you can't even get the case halves, for example, together. Or you can't get the cylinder head down and you're fiddling around and then it starts to cure. Oh, it's a nightmare. And there's no set work time as such. Like it doesn't, well, it doesn't cure and go hard. You'll find uh, over time it will start to get stickier stickier and stickier um but i've put this on gaskets and forgotten about them got and made a cup of coffee came back half an hour 45 minutes later and i was like oh no i should have put that down it's it's absolutely fine you can literally put it straight down and uh, it seals beautifully so they say a couple of minutes of flash off time put it uh, into whatever application you're going to use it but um yeah, you, you can you can leave this for more than enough time that you'll ever need to ever put anything together and it'll still be viable. It's not going to cure. It's not going to go hard. Uh, just over time, it gets a bit sticky. Um, so if you're bringing case halves together, for example, what a perfect application. You put it on the gasket and uh, you, you're not in any rush. You know, if the gasket accidentally slips out or something or something's not aligned, you're not f rushing against the clock to try and get things together like you would be with uh, three bond 1184, um, motor seal, those sorts of things that cure within just a couple of minutes. Um, it's always a rush. So uh, yeah, that's where that comes in. And also it's really easy to clean up. It's alcohol based. So you can just get some denatured alcohol, put a little spray bottle, wipe it onto a Q-tip and uh, you can wipe off any excess that, uh, that is on there. And it is fuel resistant. So, uh, you know, you're not gonna have any issues in contact with fuel. And actually funnily enough, uh, trains, had used it in place of a, I don't quite know the backstory, but he, he did mention it to me that he used it in place of a float bowl gasket. 
I think he put a, almost like a bead of it around and then brought it together. Um, and he said it never leaked. He never had any issues. So it's a really versatile product. And just a, a little disclaimer, it's not designed to be used as a gasket maker. It is just a gasket dressing compound. But in that case, it worked. And, uh, you know, as long as you're aware of the limitations and uh, what it could do, it seemed to uh, work in that case and, and got him out of a pinch. I've just found it to be such a useful product and I haven't actually seen anyone else do a, a decent video on it. Someone um, had opened it and used it uh, for a, it was a two sec a two, two minute video, uh, but no one's really gone into that much detail. I couldn't find much information on it. So here we go. I'm filling a little gap on YouTube and uh, I was told about this by my friend and I just hope that maybe uh, it will help you out. So go grab yourself a pot, uh, Permatex Aviation, former gasket number three. Um, hope it helps. All right, guys, catch you. Bye. What am I talking about? <laughs> that you can add, boo. No, you can't peel it off. That's not what I'm trying to say. And when you come to pull it together, Pull it together. Pull it together. Coffee.